Let's say you have two jobs in your life. One, find the thing that you're supposed to do. Two, do that thing. There's something you might be unaware of is called specific knowledge. Specific knowledge is your innate talents, your genuine curiosity and your passion. If you dive deep into that, you'll find out what you enjoy, what fulfills you, and what drives you and gives you purpose. Once you figure that out, you can get clarity to move forward in a job or a career that you enjoy. The trail walk this morning to check out something called the aquarium. The aquarium is a beautiful spot to swim in in summer, and I don't think it's going to be very swimmable today though, because the swell is massive. I don't think you're going to be able to hear me very well. Let's talk about FOPO and what that means and how it can kill all dreams. Okay, FOPO is the fear of other people's opinions. Now, the FOPO, if you don't manage that right in your mind and you eventually find out what you want to do and have a clear desire to pursue that, the FOPO can outweigh the desire. The fear of other people's opinions is the biggest killer of all dreams and the desire has to be seriously burning every day. You need to go to bed thinking of what it is. You need to wake up thinking of what it is and the desire has to clearly outweigh the FOPO. If it doesn't, you go, any reasonable human would struggle to pursue your passion if the desire doesn't outweigh the FOPO. It's like driving a car in a fog. You can only see five foot in front of you, but you can make the whole trip that way if you have belief to know you're going to make it. Next thing you want to do is come up with a plan. Come up with a plan that you can put into action. So it's consistent daily habits. What can you do each day that compound, that create compounding effects to go towards your career or job? It is that intense desire that will help you, allow you to come up with a plan that you can put into practice each day. Those daily actionable steps compound over time. Now something you might want to consider is replacing habits. Replace your negative habits with positive habits. You may need to replace, like what I did, replace TV for study. I knew the desire was there to pursue photography, so I replaced watching TV, which was two hours a night, and I replaced that with Lightroom study. And I would dive into Lightroom every single night instead of watching TV. Come up with a plan, replace your negative habits with positive habits that move you, move you towards your goals, towards your dreams, towards that passion of pursuing that creative career. And over time, they will compound. And before you know it, the skill set will be so much greater. Now in the creative industry, there are so many variables, so many things that can happen, so many things that can limit our beliefs. But the one thing that you need to do is to be impatient with actions, patient with results. Results take time. Getting better at, as a photographer and videographer takes time. That's why the ac consistent daily actions has to be implemented. There needs to be a consistent action every day in your schedule in order to grow your skill set there has to be actionable steps daily. Replace the negative decisions that are not leading you towards your goals. Replace them with the decisions that are leading you towards your goals. This is a beautiful spot here. Be a nice spot for a photo shoot, I think. Look at him. If you're consistent, it creates the habit. By creating a habit, you want to do it every single day. Habits take about 21 days. You need to be doing it every single day for 21 days. And over time, you'll create these positive habits which will improve your skill set to pursue this creative dream. This isn't easy. No one said it was going to be easy. It is hard. We are pursuing our dreams. It is going to take time. It is a dream come true to do a job that we can make money off from our passion. It's going to take time but overall, it's going to be worth it. So you need to have the desire, come up with a plan, take action, and be consistent. And remember, the action doesn't have to be extreme, but the commitment to consistency does. I really like this quote, content is king, but consistency is queen. Keep 
consistent, okay? It's create or disintegrate. Create your work so more and more people can see it, be consistent with it, or you're going to disintegrate. Create or disintegrate, commitment to consistency has to be there. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment, ask me what you would like to see. I've got more shoots coming up and I like to try and bring a bit of wisdom. And, and if this helps, just let me know. And I'm just here to try and help you, guide you guys through how you can pursue this and make this your job, your creative career. Because it's a dream come true and I think more and more people would, would do it, which, which improves their own lives, which creates a ripple effect in the people around them. So that's all that we're asking for, is so you can be better, so you can reach your full potential and help others around you. And that's it. So I appreciate you guys, and we'll see you on the next one. It's pretty windy. You know, you're trying to go out and just share some wisdom and do a YouTube video, and uh, the wind just... Fucking nearly blows you away. <laughs>